in how many ways can a team of 3 boys and 3 girls be selected from 5 boys and 4 girls so we have 5 boys and we have 4 girls now all boys and girls are different they're all human beings so we want to form a team with 3 boys and 3 girls in how many ways can we do this pause the video think about it okay so if we break this task down we are actually doing two things we are selecting 3 boys out of these 5 and we are selecting three girls out of these four so how do we do both of these how do we figure out the number of ways of selecting well let's recap this using an example that we saw in the previous video n a t u r e nature this is a six letter word in how many ways can we select four letters out of the word nature now if you recall number of ways to select that's equal to number of ways of selecting and arranging divided by number of ways of just arranging what this means is If you want to figure out the number of ways of selecting four letters out of these six, that's equal to the number of four-letter words. Here we are selecting four letters and arranging them as well. That's how we're getting the words. We can divide this by the number of ways of arranging every four-letter word. Now the numerator is equal to six times five times four times three. The first letter can be picked in six ways. The next one in five, and then four, and then three. But the order does not matter when we're selecting. so we're dividing this with the number of ways to arrange every four letter word that's four factorial ways 6 times 4 is 24 four factorial is also 24 so this is equal to 5 times 3 that's 15 ways so we have 15 ways of selecting four letters out of these six and if you're actually forming words that can be done in 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 or 15 times four factorial the number of ways to arrange every combination 15 times four factorial that gives us the total number of four letter words that we can form using these six letters here we are just selecting so order does not matter here we are arranging as well so the order does matter now let's get back to our problem we are trying to form a team of three boys and three girls and we have five boys and four girls so we have to do two things we have to select three out of five and we have to select three out of four so selecting three boys and selecting three girls so let's do this Let's figure out the first part. How do we select three boys? This is equal to select and arrange divided by arrange, and this also equals to select and arrange divided by arrange. And there's an and in between. We're doing both of these tasks. How do we select and arrange? If we're selecting and arranging, the order does matter. So if you pick in order, this means we're picking the first boy and the second boy and the third boy. The first boy can be picked in five ways. The next one in four. and the third one in three ways 5 times 4 times 3 but the order does not matter we're just selecting so we divide this by number of ways of arranging that's three factorial ways any group of three boys we pick can be arranged in three factorial ways so we divide this by three factorial this gives us the number of ways of selecting three boys out of five we can do the same thing here as well if we select the girls in order the first girl can be picked in four ways the next one in three and the third one in two ways 4 times 3 times 2 but the order does not matter we divide this by 3 factorial this gives us the number of ways of selecting three girls out of four and gives us the multiplication sign now if we simplify this we'll get the answer 3 factorial is 6 4 and 3 is 12 so this becomes 2 5 times 2 is 10 ways here we have 3 times 2 6 6 cancels out we have four ways 10 times 4 that's 40 ways So the number of ways to form a team of 3 boys and 3 girls out of 5 boys and 4 girls that's 40 ways. Let's try one more. Find the number of ways of selecting 9 balls from 6 red balls, 5 yellow balls and 5 blue balls if each selection consists of 3 balls of each color. And here we can assume that all balls are different. All right. Pause the video, try this out. Okay. So we have three different tasks in front of us and we have to do all three of them. We have to select three red balls and we have to select three yellow balls and we have to select three blue balls. 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. How do we do the first task? We can select and arrange. The first ball can be picked in six ways, next one in five and the third one in four, but the order does not matter. We're just selecting, so we divide this by 3 factorial. Here we have 5 times 4 times 3 divided by 3 factorial. and we have five blue balls the same as five yellow balls so the answer is same here as well 5 times 4 times 3 divided by 3 factorial 
and gives us the multiplication sign. Now simplifying this will give us the answer. 3 factorial is 6, 6 cancels out, 5 times 4 is 20. So number of ways to select 3 red balls out of 6 red balls, that's 20 ways. Here we have now 3 cancels out and 2 cancels out with 4, we have 5 times 2, that's 10 ways. And we can write 10 ways here as well, both of these are same. That's 20 times 10 times 10, that's 0, 0, 0, 3 zeros and a 2, that's 2000 ways. So we have 2000 ways of doing this particular task. One last problem, in how many ways can we select a cricket team of 11 players from 17 players in which only 5 can ball if the team must include exactly 4 ballers. Now pause the video, try this out. Okay, so what do we have to do? We have to form a team of 11 players. And how many players do we have? We have 17 players. Out of these, 5 can ball. So 5 can ball, which means 17 minus 5, 12 cannot ball. Now the condition here is that our team must include exactly 4 ballers. This means we are doing two tasks. We are selecting exactly 4 ballers and because we have to form a team of 11 players, 11 minus 4 is 7, we are selecting 7 others. So we are selecting 4 ballers and we are selecting 7 others. How do we do this? How many ballers do we have? We have 5 ballers. We are selecting 4 out of 5. That's 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. If we select and arrange them in order, but the order does not matter, so we divide this by 4 factorial. This gives us the number of ways of selecting 4 ballers out of 5. And means multiply. Here we are selecting 7 out of 12. If we select and arrange them, the first one can be picked in 12 ways, then 11, 10, 9, 8, 7 and 6. But the order does not matter, so we divide this by 7 factorial. This is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 divided by 4 factorial. That's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times. Here we have 12 to 6 divided by 7 to 1. So let's simplify. All of this cancels out. We're left with 5. And we have some cancellations here as well. 7 and 6 cancel out. 5 and 2 is 10. So that cancels out. 4 and 3 is 12. So this cancels out as well. We have 11 and 9 and 8. So this is 5 times 11 times 9 times 8. Now 11 times 9 is 99, 5 times 8 is 40, this is 99 times 40 ways. We can write 90 as 100 minus 1, this gives us 4000 minus 40 ways, that's 3960, 3960 ways. That's the number of ways in which you can form a team of 11 players out of which exactly 4 are ballers.